Yo, yo, what is up? And welcome back to School Night. What you guys just saw with your own eyes was Max Bennett Kelly slaying the stage, yeah. bringing the vibes. How you doing? I'm good. I'm sweaty. Sweaty. Alive yeah. and sweaty. Alive and sweaty. And happy. I'm in a good mood. Yeah. I mean, we, you left us all in a good mood. Um, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I mean, your original music as well. But uh, I, like, I, I just wanted to ask, like, is there a reason for the fireflies? There's no reason. I we love just it. We did it. We were like, should we do a cover? And it was kind of, it was like magic. We all yeah. were like fireflies at the yeah. same time. Oh. And then we just busted it out and we yeah. just made it up on the spot and we've just been playing it yeah. at shows. So. I mean, I want to shout out your band if you want to shout them out, actually, because uh, so they good. sounded great. They're so good. Yeah, right. Like, honestly, the most talented group of musicians I've ever worked with and it feels, makes me like, damn, I need to learn how to play the guitar. I can't really do it. But it's <laughs> cool to be around them and, like, yeah. they elevate me and I hope that I can, I don't know, be fun to play with for them, too. So. Yeah. I mean, you played guitar awesome. guitar enough to play for uh, your, your high school song and uh, as well as, you're a DUI artist, so, like, you, you write, you produce your own music and you direct your own music videos. Uh, when did you start kind of doing all of this stuff? Um, okay, so I started playing music in fifth grade. Okay. I was in orchestra as wow. a kid, and I played the upright bass. Upright bass. That was, and that, yeah. that was the same four strings as, yeah. like, you know, a bass guitar. So I yeah. got a bass guitar from my grandpa, okay. and then that turned into playing the guitar. And I was writing, like, fake classical music or something back okay. in the day. They had, like, music programs on our school computers that yeah. you could write sheet music on, and I would pretend I was doing the score for a Final Fantasy game or something. Oh, wow. And that's, I would... It is, uh, I still can play them. On the would piano. you watch the game while like creating oh, the no. score? I make like, the own game up in my head too. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's uh, but that's how I kind of started, and then started um, writing songs about girls on the guitar yeah. when I was like 11. I would hide them under my pillow so my parents wouldn't yeah. freak out about how dramatic I was. <laughs> Yeah. 11, you're talking about girls. <laughs> talking about girls and complaining. It's very angsty. Yeah, I, I remember like I wrote it. a lyric. I was like, I must, have, I must have woken up on the wrong side of the bed because your song keeps playing in my head. Oh, wow. And I was wow. like, why is I so mad about falling in love back then? It was fun <laughs> as a kid. I love but, it. I mean, why, oh, uh, there was a song you mentioned, uh, a girl wouldn't let you, uh, like, give you enough space on the bed. Oh, um, you talking about, which one are you talking about? Space in the bed. Yeah, it was it was in a, a song earlier. I was wondering about the the girl and why she wouldn't. Uh, let oh, we're talking about the. I say, give me all the space between. Give me all the space between your fingers. Yeah. And the pictures in your head. Yeah. They, and in return, I'll give you all the monsters that make faces at me inches from my bed. I'm just kind of saying, like, give me give me a little bit of some like romantic interest, and I'll pour on all my demons to you. Mm. And she's like, runs away. Yeah. And so it's like, oops. You're deep. I like that. I like all the stuff. Uh, you <laughs> design your own merch as well. So definitely, uh, if you guys have not yet, make sure you follow Max Bennett Kelly. Uh, I'm I'm here to ask, what are your musical influences? Who inspire you, lyrically, production wise? What 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 where where, where are we get where are we drawing from? Kind of all over. I mean. Yeah. But honestly, not really all over. When I was a kid, um, weirdly enough, my grandpa had a, the Nimrod CD, like the Green Day CD. Mm. And I, that was like the first album I listened to all the way through. And I got obsessed with Green Day because they're the only band I knew at like yeah. 10 years old. And a lot of my songwriting stems from that. I just like fast, catchy, kind of bouncy stuff. But I love really lyrical things, too. Yeah. Um, I really connected with the band Brand New when I got into middle school. I thought they were just really hit that really emo thing yeah. in my chest. I really thought I related to all those lyrics, but yeah. um, that just opened up the kind of poetic side of the songwriting that I think is cool. And mm -hmm. now I just really like anything that talks about a really real emotion, whether it's embarrassing or not. Probably preferably that it is an embarrassing emotion. Cause yeah. That's the stuff that I feel like you're allowed to talk about when you have a mm -hmm. microphone. I would never yeah. say it in real life. Right. Actually, that's so deep. And it allows you to Thanks. connect with people and people to connect more with your songs yeah. when you're not just, you know, Saying yeah. some stuff that you would just say in regular life. Yeah, you know? I can't like I don't know, I can't I can't sing it yeah. if I don't mean it. Or if it doesn't feel like something coming out, I guess. It's mm. gotta it's gotta feel like something, or else yeah. I don't really wanna do it. Yeah. Um but then it leads to like I overshare on my songs. But I guess that's just who I am as yeah. a person. Yeah, you know overshare. Artists should yeah, oversharing is a good thing. I yeah. like it, I like it. Uh we're gonna ask a fan question. Oh Hannah Kitty asks, uh, what genre of music would you love to try? out next in your next set of songs. Oh, it's perfect. I've been so into like country music. Yeah. Okay. Like alternative, kind of like, I would say actually Americana. Yeah. It's a little different, but I just think, I was just listening to John Denver one day. I started talking about it on stage and I decided that this is going to be a too big of a detour, but I'll talk about it now. <laughs> but I was like, damn, like this guy writes these cool songs about like the Wild West mm. that he probably never participated in. You know, he's not that much, he wasn't born that long ago. Yeah. He talks about the the Wild West in this really idyllic, kind of romanticized way. Mm. And I just feel like that sentiment is lost in my music. I never tried writing something like that. So I wrote that high school song about, like, what if I, it's called The Last Day of My Life. I yeah. wrote it 
romanticizing high school as if it was something that kind of didn't exist. It was just mm. this like poetic landscape or something. But I don't know. After that, I've been really obsessed with just like listening to more country and like Heartland Rock and stuff. Yeah. And um, just kind of bring like the rock and roll vibe into my stuff a little more. And that also goes with me playing with the live band now. Um, it's just something different to add like a spice to what I've been doing. Cause I've been listening to like the same stuff my whole life. Like my yeah. same favorite song now is my favorite song back then. So what anyway, what song is that? My favorite songs, my favorite song right now, new friends by Pine Grove. Okay. That's, but that's like a new favorite song. Okay. My last favorite song is so random. This has nothing to do with anything we were talking about, but it was <laughs> Musician by Porter Robinson, which is like <laughs> so off the wall in terms of the genres I've been talking about. But yeah. I'll have like one favorite song and I'll like it for a year. Yeah. And that's that's it. So and you know, as artists we're always uh, there's always gonna be new stuff that we draw to and feel, mm. feel you know. I love it when you song. find a new favorite thing. Exactly. It's the best thing ever. We have another fan question. The Blue Dragon asked, uh, what happened to <laughs> what happened at emo night for you to hate LA so much? So this wasn't at okay, first of all, I have to I'm gonna elaborate. I love LA cool, when I'm it's, not it's my city. When I'm not <laughs> here. <laughs> when I'm here, I'm like, this sucks. And then every time I leave, even for like an hour, I'm like, damn, I miss LA. Oh, okay. I feel like you're gonna like miss on some, miss out on something yeah. if you, um, Bummo. you know, don't. Yeah, I'm just, just the, the energy of the city. But yeah. um, this is not the emo night that I played at, and I love emo night as the event. But I went to emo night with some friends, and I was just in a fight with this girl at the time, and I was supposed to go like go to her show, and then I didn't because I was like, I gotta be, I gotta be cool and not do. I gotta go to emo night. So I was at emo night. And I was just like, damn, I wish I wasn't here. Like, I wish I was doing, like, anything else than, like, st sitting here with people I don't know. Like, being sad about a song that I heard when I was, like, 14. You know, because yeah. they play throwback music and stuff. I don't know. And they have the the mural there that says, like, hell is Los Angeles. And just making me think about how many things were bothering me in my life about living in L.A. And how many of them were also, like, my fault, yeah. you know? Um, yeah. Did like, uh, I don't know. I love that song, though. I love just, like, the stream of consciousness about it. I was just trying to imagine... This is what I was thinking about on the Uber ride home yeah. from this. Just yeah. being like, oh, be different. <laughs> Change. Well, you're different, so you don't got to think too hard. But you have, enough, you. you have some upcoming music. Uh, what can we expect? Uh, what's on the horizon for you? Well, I'm making an EP, which feels really good. Um, I've been doing a lot of singles. Um, this whole art, my whole artist project kind of came faster than together faster than I thought. I didn't really have much direction at the beginning. I was just like, I want to make some cool songs. But now I've been doing a lot of... Soul searching, you might say. Yeah. But uh, I've just been figuring out what I want to do, and I just think it's really important for, for me to make a cohesive body of work. And so um, that song "Broke" that I played tonight is the next single. I recorded it with the band. Okay. Um, we did it in a live studio, and then I produced it out. And it's a great song. Thank you, thank you. And then the next songs I played most of them tonight. They're gonna be produced out the same way and I really wanted to make something kind of sonically cohesive and really musically nerdy I don't know how many people will pick up yeah. on what I'm trying to do but it's important for me to make something that like lasts in yeah. my head the more effort you put into something the more yeah. it comes to life and the more it'll stay alive so yeah. anyway EP coming out TBD yeah. broke coming out on a date TBD also but soon yeah well we're gonna ask the last question of the night by the, voted yeah. by the chat which is uh, describe your first ever <sighs> show in five words or less <sighs> Well, I've been playing shows since high school with my old band. <laughs> oh my god, I was wearing a tie-dye shirt that day too. Okay, tie-dye. Rapping. Cringe. <laughs> Heart. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> I can't believe I'm wearing like a very similar shirt. It's just before it said wow. Yeah, I was in a, I did like a high school talent show yeah. with like the I had a band in high school, but before we did that, we were making kind of like that like YouTube era of hip hop kind of stuff. We, yeah. really, we were really trying to do that, and so that was my first show. Wow. I was rapping on stage. Well, thank you for being on this show. Uh, I'm very happy dude, to be here. Thanks for having me. Phenomenal having you. Thank you for being an alum.